Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Charlemagne series. In this episode guys we have to deal with this war that we've been declared on. Also, why I'm do that, I would like to talk to you because I would like to change the Fridays to what I would call Let's Talk Fridays. So the series that will have a chat about all the feedback you have been giving me so far and what should I improve and change in this series. So I got recently some feedback that I may be playing too aggressively. This is usually my style of playing, but obviously I want to make this series as good for you guys as it is for me to, to play. So if you think I, fi I play a bit too aggressively and I should focus more on my character, please let me know in comments and I will try to do my best to improve on that. I don't want to just leave it, you know, guys, and play the way I want. I want it to be an enjoyable experience for all of us. In the meantime, I'm going to siege this capital and raise it. As long as I hold the land, I will be winning the war. So that was the first bit of feedback I got. The other bit of feedback I got as well is that you apparently are interested in the Dejur map of the Duchies. So that's how the Duchies Dejur map look like in here, in my territory. So I have Silesia, Kujawia, Greater Poland, Lesser Poland, Mazovia and so on. So that's the Lithuanian duchies as well. And slowly I will be creating duchies in here. And that's the Dejur map of Kingdom. So that's the Kingdom of Poland. So we hold quite a bit of land in here that we Poland wouldn't normally. And in here. And obviously it's only a year 799 and Poland was not created yet. Officially in the history. But luckily for us this game is not exactly about repeating the history is more about playing your own alternative version of it and I think that's how we should look at it. Even though I try to play in the character, you know, the, obviously the history will not be exactly the same because there is too many things that change. Okay, there is a guy who holds the, who believes I hold the title that belongs to him. Let's check him out. The guy of Lower Silesia. Where are you? Okay, what title do I hold? Okay, he will get a High Chiefdom of Silesia. Let me think about it. Let's have a look in here. So, I own the Duchy of Silesia, which is this. I own all that title are part of this one. Okay, and... Let me see. Yeah, he belongs to this Dejur Duchy in here. Well, if I give you that, you will still want other, my other titles. I'm kind. Emperor. And ambitious now. Okay, I didn't know we gain ambitious trait. Well, we're going to reject it diplomatically. Because even though I'm kind, and I'm not going to hold the grudges on him, I'm not going to give up the land. I uh, will say no diplomatically for now. Okay, in the meantime, we're ra trying to raid this city in here. Is it city or is it temple? Barony, so that's a city. And my sister came of age. Okay. We will have to find her husband. There is this child we have imprisoned. Well, let's check her out. We can ransom her, we don't want to actually keep children in our prison because we are still kind. So yeah, we have the sister that came of age, so we have to find a husband for her. Okay, so I found this guy in here. He is a duke in this land. But it is possible for him to marry my sister and he will say yes to that. That will result in an alliance, obviously he can't do much because he's a duke, but in case he gets to power, he should be on our side. So we'll send her there. There was nothing else I could do with her really that would be beneficial to us at all. He will accept it, that's great. And we're just going to raise the city and then we're going to scare them off from there. 
So let's hurry up. And we got some gold from that, that's great. And let's send him, just to scare them off and break the siege. They will move on the 24th and I will be there on the 14th. Well, we can take that, we'll take the river crossing penalty, but we should be fine. Beat his forces up and that should prevent most of things. Okay, we won the battle, we got some piety from that, no, some prestige, and obviously war score. We got this guy. Well, we can ransom him. He will say no. Let's just keep him until the end of the war and then we'll release him. Okay, this guy. He's offer offering us to join the war. Who are you? You're our ally, yes. Please join the war for us. Okay, so if they join the war, we should be fine. So let's go back to Belgorod. Let's just raise the temples. Because from the previous episode, we know we need two more Slavic faith. The guy that we capture, yes, we shall be merciful. He can live in the castle. We don't hold grudges. He was just doing his job, really. Okay, so we got that. We got some piety from that. And now we're going to raise the temple in here. So let's go with this quickly. They are actually collecting more and more troops. So let's just quickly raise that. We got piety. And in here we got one more of the one more of authority. We can raise this barony for money, or we can move on and find other places of temples. There is a temple in here. And where else? Just in the land around us. There is a temple here, we should go and raise that. Let's go that way, and then we'll join them here in the battle, and then we'll raise the other city. It's really the most reasonable thing to do. I know, we took the river crossing penalty, but we won this fight. And we lost our shaman. Okay, let them walk slowly, and I will find a new shaman in here. This guy looks reasonable, and let's give him something to do. Well, he's going to try to change the religion of this land in here. I should actually have sent him there to change the religion of my vassal, but never mind. Okay, so we go in here now to win this fight. Four, and we'll be there on the 21st. I don't really want this fight, to be honest, to happen. But can I just go there? How is that even possible? Is that the shortest way to get there? That's just ridiculous. Oh, because that's the mountain, I can't cross this mountain. Well, we'll have to fight this fight then, that's fine. We should be fine. And that should be more than enough for us to actually end the war. Okay, King of Poland was wounded. Why am I leading the troops again? It's a good job we didn't die. Because our characters tend, tend to do that, don't they? Okay, we won this battle. And let's me let me think now. Where was the temple? The temple was here, so that's where we want to go. I wasn't leading the troops, but I was there with them. Because it was my army that they raised. I didn't even know that can happen. I thought it was only the characters in here that can be involved in this process. 
Okay, we have an option to adopt some martial ideas, and it's only two gold, we'll take that, yes. Okay, go here, and we'll raise the city on level 5 speed, and we should be fine. Got a 100% war score already, so we can actually end the war at any time. But I just want to raise the tempo, because then I will be able to reform my religion reasonably quickly, really. So let's just go here, assault it, we did that. Okay, they want to offer us to join the war, we'll accept that. We'll offer the peace and we'll take it. And what do we get from that? We got the plenty of piety. We got plus 3 moral authority and 81 prestige. That is great. That is probably everything we needed to reform our faith. So yes. Send that. Send the troops back. And let's see in here now. If we go to religion. Okay, we have a 50... Why can't I do that then? Well, I thought we got more than moral authority from that. It said clearly there, moral authority plus plus three percent for winning the holy war. Okay, we have here. Still need to loot some temples by the looks of it. Well, that's fine. That's something we'll have to work on. Send the forces in here. Get rid of them. And now we can raise them again. They all can go slowly here. And let's see if there is any temple we can loot. There is a temple here. So we looted before and we'll do it again. And that should set us quite okay then. So let's just wait for everyone to join in one spot, which they will do quickly. Come on guys. Oh, I hate to say, it takes forever. Yeah, we've got 2000 men. We join them like that and go raise this temple and be quick about it. Because that should be enough then for us to actually reform religion and then we will be able to change the succession law and just make it more secure for us. Okay, so our daughter needs a guardian. So let's find somebody who is really good at something. My religion, my culture, we want to be adult, we don't care about anything else. And we don't want him to be in prison. Okay. Alright, the guys are rebelling against us. Well, we are ambitious, our character is, so we won't be blackmailed. And we'll have to deal with them. Let's pause the game, let's find this guardian first for my daughter. And we don't care if he's married. Is that really all we have? Seriously, the people of my culture are so rubbish at some point. That's fine, then we'll use, you, use my daughter then to improve some relationships with people. So let's just wait for this war to fire first, and then we'll decide where we're going to send her. Okay, the war fired. That's fine, we'll go here. And there is a temple there? No. And there should be a temple somewhere here that we can raise later as well. Here is one. We'll raise this one soon. Okay, let's just deal with the armies first. My brother, we liked him for a hundred. So let's go to my vassals. Find the one that dislikes me a bit. This guy. You could educate my daughter then. 
to my daughter, and yeah, you do it. That will improve our relationships for 20. I could call vassals to war, but I don't really have a need for that. Because I'm winning. Because they have not enough troops actually to stop me from anything. And I know crossing river is not the best ever, but that's okay. We destroy the troops. And that's fine. Just move them there, because there was the closest temple in here. We need this temple to reform the faith. So we'll do that quickly. On the way we also defeated some troops, so that's okay. Okay, let's run on speed 5. And they actually are raising more army now. Okay. Let's look at our character. We know the war can be tedious and we have two options. We can let somebody else do it. Or we can do it ourselves. Well, we're ambitious, so we want to be hardworking. Unfortunately, we didn't get a trade from that, but that's okay. Okay, they actually are pulling quite a bit of the army now, so I'm going to call everybody. All tribal vassals to war and all allies. We'll do that. And that will raise everybody. They will all say yes. At least most of them. And we should be fine. Okay, thank you. Oh my god, there is quite a few of them. And the auto save. Okay. And we should be fine now. I will teach anyone to not, not to start the war on us. Okay, let's go quickly here, raise this temple. We have one more ally we can call. Uh, yeah, why not? Well, let's call you. There is never such a thing as too much help. So we'll do that. Okay, we've done that. And there is like no defenders in here. We cannot assault. Since we are not the leader of the siege. Who is the leader of the siege then? Oh, that is so rubbish. Well, I, di I didn't want that then. Leave me alone. Okay, we got that, we got this. Let's just pause this for a second. Okay, the first of all, we have a son. That is great news. Sadly, he is not that great with any stats, but that's okay. Religion, I have some faith in here, not too much. Okay, we managed to get this land in here. Okay guys, I will have to fight this war in the next episode. And I will have to find a temple to raise, because we need this one extra moral authority from them. So... Thank you guys for watching, please don't forget to tell me in the comments if I'm being too aggressive, if I am, I will try to improve on that and I will try to play my character better if you think I'm not doing it properly. If you think I'm doing it okay, please let me know as well so I know that I'm on the right track. And thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and I will see you guys next time.